So now mixed in here with these problems with the demanding range is going to be the other things, kind of a review that we've been doing on a lot of these things um, earlier in the year. So we'll be hitting those things as we go to. So what kind of function is this? It's a radical function, meaning one that has a square root in it. I can tell because it has a starting point. It was the only one that had a starting point. All right, the domain is the x values, the range is the y values. That's the most important thing to understand here. All right, and basically what you're doing is you're saying on this orange line right here, this orange line, what x values exist? All right, does it start someplace? Does it end someplace? What's going on? With the domain, I like to think of it as a shadow that's cast down on the x-axis, and anything that's shaded from the shadow is in the domain. All right, so if you look at this, it starts at negative 2, and then the x values just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So it just keeps going over this way, and it never stops. There's no ending to it. So it starts at 2, it goes to infinity. So my numbers are 2 and infinity. Since it's infinity, it gets a parenthesis. So the only thing I have to do is, does it get a parenthesis or a bracket on the 2? All right. It is a filled in circle. I'm going to zoom in. It's a filled in circle there, which means that it needs to get a bracket because it's equal at that spot. So it's a filled in bracket. All right, and we're looking for an interval. So don't think that this is simple and you just randomly write numbers down. We gotta take our time with this. All right, I'm gonna kick off what I just had written on there as much as I can. Range is the same idea, all right, with the Y values. Now, I did this still with a shadow and the shadow has to come from two sides. Um, I don't think this makes as much sense to really anybody but me, but if it helps, great. So if I shine a light on both sides, it's what would, again, shade in on the Y axis there. What's gonna be covered with, with shade if you have a line shining on both both sides there. Uh, so it's going to start off right here. And then what happens? Well, the y value is going up and up and up. So the y value is going in that direction. So it's going to keep going here. And again, that's going to all get shaded if I have lights kind of shining on it and shading in the axis. So where does it start? It starts at 3. And then it just keeps going and doesn't stop any place in particular. So it's 3 to infinity. Again, infinity gets parentheses. The 3 gets a bracket because it's a filled in circle. All right, so I'll finish the rest of these in the next video.